this? That was probably very loud. I got mints in my mouth and I'm gonna have some Red Bull. That's not bad. Yo, six completed discographies, boys. Actually, wait, uh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting exclusive word in that it's actually six completed discographies, ladies, because unintentionally, these are all female artists or female-led bands. Woo! So yeah, uh, it's been a while since we've had a six completed discographies. Quite, quite a few months, actually. I think it's because I actually recently tried to start listening to music properly again. So now I'm actually listening to a lot more stuff. So here we go, we, 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 we got it. We got it. Overall, with all of these artists, I can't say that I love any of them. I don't necessarily adore their whole discographies and all that. Like, I don't think that they're all perfect, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't find a few songs that I was blasting on repeat, because there are some fucking bangers amongst all of this shit. So overall, I'm happy enough, but I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you, the, the first one is actually Bad. If you haven't watched the six completed discographies before, this is what we do. We just go from my least favorite to my favorite, and then we have some bonus ones at the end. So starting off with my least favorite, Misa, Misa Wanawanga. It's M H Y S A. I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. it might be Misa, Misa, Misa. Wow, I just woke up. So we're starting off with my least favorite as always. And it's the first time in a while where I can say that it's the worst and not feel like that's an incorrect statement to make. Usually I'd be like, oh, this person isn't bad, but they're just my least favorite amongst all of these. But no, this music sucks real fucking hard. Like I kind of despised these albums. Oh my God. To give you some idea of how much I despised it, I'll tell you that I listened to her first album on a day where I was just listening to a bunch of albums, as I do, and I got so irritated by how shit it was that I decided to go straight ahead and just listen to the second and get it over with so that I don't have to dread listening. And somehow it was even worse than the first one. Her music is basically experimental r and I guess, and it has this goal of expressing the struggles of being a black woman through the lyrics, which I can say is fine if it's communicated well. But man, it's literally just the music and vocal work is so bad to me that I just cannot get behind it. I don't think it's good music. I think if you want to maybe write like poetry or something, or if you want to, I don't know, do write, write a book maybe or something like that, but just music doesn't seem to be her calling because it's, it doesn't fucking sound good. <laughs> it has that really irritating type of experimentation where it just goes, hey, this sounds pretty random and it definitely doesn't fit in here. Or does it? Hmm? Like it feels so up itself and scattered for no reason. Pretty much no songs made me go, oh, this sounds pretty good, which really sucks. And my God, the covers. There are some cover songs thrown in here, still with the same horrible experimentation, and it just sounds fucking awful. But one of the most tedious tasks of my entire fucking life was sitting through the four minute long outro on the second album, which was a cover of When the Saints Go Marching In. It felt like 10 minutes. It was four minutes. It felt like fucking 10 minutes. There's so many moments where she's singing incredibly slowly and it sounds like she's singing into a water tank or some shit. It just sounds so fucking bad. It's, it's really horrible. I, I don't like it. I have nothing against the woman herself, so don't throw shit, but I just hate the music. The music itself just genuinely sounds pretty fucking bad. Anyway, moving on, we have Katie Gately. Katie is good. I heard her first album and I was surprised at how much I was enjoying it. It is very experimental and it goes back and forth between a slower, weird electronic track and a crazy electro banger. But it worked really well and I thought there was just something so cool about the general vibe and also really haunting. Her second album I didn't really enjoy that much though, but I've still only heard it once and I think I might need a few more listens I guess. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mood. But overall she has a lot of potential to grow on me in future releases and I like her enough so far so I'd, I'd recommend checking her out if you want something that sounds appealing to you based on what I've described. Up next we have Phoebe Bridges. I'm not massively into her or anything, but I think she's good. Her first album was a little bit eh for me, but her second was definitely a lot stronger. She gives me those calm indie girl vibes, and the majority of that type of music I do dislike because it all pretty much sounds the same. But I think Phoebe's lyrics are one of her biggest strengths, and it makes the music itself a lot more noteworthy. I definitely need more listens, but for now I think she's good. I'm not too far either way really, I just, I just think she's good. Up next we have Alexandra Stan. A real mixed bag? Like, I mean... Like a real mixed bag, yeah. <laughs> I found at least one song I liked on each album, but only one album I loved. And even then I look at the other three albums and I'm like, yeah, I didn't like it that much. 
as an album. Just a lot of the albums overall weren't the best. But yeah, I just can't deny that I found some real bangers. The only thing I'd heard from this woman was Mr. Saxo Beat. And if you don't know what that song is, then you're a massive loser. But I used to have the fattest crush on her when I was younger, purely because that music video was the sexiest thing I could imagine at the time, I guess. But also the song itself is a banger and it remains that way to this day. But little did I know that her whole first album, the album that that's from, was that good as well. I figured that maybe Mr. Saxo Beat was like the crown jewel of the album and the rest was just gonna be shit. But no, 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 no. Saxo Beats is genuinely a fantastic electro pop album. I listen to it constantly now. However, I listened to the second one and I didn't feel all that good about it. And the one after that, I didn't enjoy that much aside from one song. And the last one was very meh, aside from two brilliant songs. So yeah. Mixed bag. I really do think Alexandra has the ability to make really good electro pop tracks, and I wish that a lot of her later music didn't rely on like shitty club beats or trap type instrumentals that just don't really suit her aesthetic and how the vocals are. So yeah, I'm hoping for the future to be better, but even if not, she still gave me some quality tracks and hopefully can give me at least a few good songs in the future. Check her out if you like. At the very least, do it for her first album. Up next, we have Jackie Lynn. Bit of an issue with this one, I guess, because I didn't know that this lady was actually working under another name here as well. Her actual name is Haley Four. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. And her main project is Circuit. I'm, I'm not even gonna try. So I guess I fucked up, but we'll call this a completed discography seeing as I heard her albums as Jackie Lynn. But let me tell you, I would absolutely listen to her other project because God damn, she's great. The albums feel like they have such a variation in musical styles and there's never really a dull moment. Sure, you can not really vibe with a couple of songs, but you'll at least soon be greeted by another one that might be more your style. I love what she does with her music. There's so many unique instrumental styles and her vocals never disappoint. I love what she's got so far I really hope that the future is even better and I would definitely check out her work under her other name and the last one so the best one Garbage. This band is genuinely fantastic. I didn't love every album or anything, but I found a ton of songs that I think are brilliant. Parade is genuinely one of my favorite songs now. The majority of their music is really great. I think I prefer their first three albums to the rest because it feels like they work better as albums. And there's more songs that I discovered from those that I love, but I'm still happy to go and re-listen to the later ones and see what I pick up. They do super well at adding a lot of personality to this electronic rock, alternative rock genre lyrically, vocally, aesthetically, and musically. Like I said, I don't love all of it, but they are genuinely quite unique. And I really hope they make more in the future because really there's a lot of talent going on here and so much to enjoy. I would highly recommend them. And now it's that time. Bonus discographies. Woo! These are just ones that I don't really have that much to say about, but we can get out of the way quickly, I guess. So up first we have Samia or Samia. Samia? Just going back to Phoebe Bridges, this is an example of that calm indie girl vibe, but the uninteresting one. I mean, she isn't bad at all, but she's just not really that interesting. Her lyrics aren't the best, the musical style has been done to death, and the albums just aren't really that attention grabbing at all. Her voice is fine, I guess, but yeah, I just, I have fuck all to say. Hope she does better in the future, but yeah, for now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And then we have MJ Guider. I like this lady, but I don't really know why. Her first album was a impressive selection of ambient, dreamy electronic music that definitely had a lot of personality there. Her second really threw me off and I don't really know what I can exactly say about it because it's just so strange and I feel like I need to re-listen to it a bunch more. But yeah, I don't have much to say in general. I think she's interesting and her music may grow on me, but yeah, hopefully I can just see some good growth from her in the future. And yeah, if it sounds appealing to you, then go right ahead and check her out, I guess. So that was six completed discographies and bonus discographies. What did you think of these artists? Have you listened to them? Did you like them? Let me know down below and please check out my links down in the description. And if you did enjoyed this video then please subscribe it really really helps me and thank you as always for watching i respect your opinion and i hope you have a great day and bye